Okay, so we've finished our background, as you saw in the last little bit of the video, and I'm really pleased with how it came out. So now we're going to move on to making the card and assembling it. So what I've done here, and this is going to be an easel card, as I said, um, the measurements for this are five and a quarter by five and a quarter. That's what that is. That's a good size for a card and gives you lots of uh, real estate to do your mixed media. And then this piece here is in length, let me tell you, it is eight and a, uh, a half, eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half inches long and five and a quarter uh, in width. So it's the same width as the um, the mixed media background that we just created. So what to do to make an easel card? Super simple. After you've got this all cut out and everything, you fold the card in half. So you would have a card that would open like that. And you can do it that way too if you want to make your your background a little smaller. That would be really pretty. Um, but I want to make an easel card, so this is what you do. So so easy. You fold it in half, and then you take the top piece that you folded, and you fold that in half. And that is how you get your easel card. Then you take your mixed media background, and you tape it to this piece. You don't want to tape in here. You just want to use your score tape or your glue or however you want to do it. And then as you can see, your little piece of art will stand up and it will look like that. So really, really simple, and then when you close it, it looks just like a card. It'll lay flat, and it looks just like a card. So that's why you don't want to tape in here. You just want to use your score tape or your glue or whatever just on this small piece here. So that is how you make an easel card, super easy. But I am going to continue on with this card and keep going. Um, now you can use... Um, colored paper on this, or you could maybe do some mixed media in here too, which I may do, um, maybe just with my distress inks or something on the inside just to make it a bit more colorful. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, how you do the easel card. So I'm going to end the video here, and I will come back with part two of this, and then we will um, continue on and finish up the card and get it decorated and all that kind of good stuff. So stay tuned for part two. I will be back. Bye-bye.